Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Well, it's been a rather hot day for your Monday, and I wish I had better news, but it just looks to stay with us for at least the next couple of days. The heat and the humidity at that. It is still summer after all, but still, we should be seeing quite uh, fairly fewer, or cooler temperatures rather, for this time of year. It's going to be warm and windy for your Tuesday. Winds will start to pick up once again, but there is some relief in sight. Might see a storm chance that'll move through on Thursday, but even then, it's still going to struggle to budge our numbers. Might even see cooler temperatures though as we head towards the weekend. So there is something to look forward to, and we might get those fall like temperatures just before the start of actual fall on next Monday. Currently, we're seeing some thin high level clouds out there, but still, that sun is trying to peek through most of them. We we're well above average today, believe it or not. Usually see about 80 degrees for our high. We are about 12 degrees above that, hit about 92 so far, and it's probably going to be maybe that, maybe a degree more. But even our low, look at that. We usually see 50s as you wake up in the morning. We saw about 70 degrees, so it's fairly warm out there. Just does not want to get away. We are losing daylight as well. A little over 12 hours is what we're seeing, and we're losing about a couple minutes a day of daylight as we get closer and closer to daylight savings here coming up in just a month or two. Looking at current conditions here in the capital city, sitting at 90 degrees right now. Dew point still in the upper 60s, so feels like 94 out there right now. Not too bad, but it's it's still fairly hot. It's going to pick up wind wise. We're seeing them die down right now. Tomorrow afternoon, that's when we could see about 15 to maybe even 20 miles per hour, all coming from the south. So it'll be a warm southerly breeze, but it is something just to keep an eye out for as it's going to be pretty windy tomorrow. Might even see those winds return for Wednesday morning, but not nearly as breezy as we will see tomorrow. We're just seeing mostly some thin clouds out there, not really any rain on our satellite and radar, just passing through, helping us cool down just a little bit. But we look to stay dry for at least the next 24 to 48 hours or so. Look at tomorrow morning, just a few clouds out there staying dry throughout the day as well. See a few disturbances off to our north, but we look to stay mostly clear and mostly sunny for the next couple of days. We are under this ridge, and that's what's really killing us. So, uh, there is some disturbances towards the Gulf, but other than that, we just look to stay hot, dry, and humid for the next couple of days. We'll warm up again into the upper 80s, flirting with that 90 degree mark for your Tuesday. And again on Wednesday, maybe just slightly warmer in the lower 90s as we head towards Wednesday afternoon. And that combine that with this humidity that just does not want to get away either. Either tomorrow evening, still seeing some spots of that muggy category continuing on for Wednesday, even more muggy as we head towards the middle of the work week and combine that with those temperatures that are in the 90s. We could be seeing some lower 90s for heat index values on Tuesday and then again on Wednesday might even see some middle 90s for our feels like temperatures. So very hot and humid is going to be the trend for the next couple of days. Not really any rain chances until we get to Thursday. That's going to be a hit or miss kind of thing in terms of hitting our temperatures it looks to not really budge them. We're still going to be fairly warm, but I'm thinking that chance for rain on Saturday is what's going to help us cool down and hopefully by next Monday, the start of fall, <laughs> it'll cool down just right. You know, it's nice sometimes seeing those uh, rain showers on there because it does cool the area down a little bit. So that's the one blessing. We're hoping. <laughs>